hello guys welcome back to this channel in this today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to use eye contact correction feature on CapCut mobile okay let's get into it guys as you can see i have opened my CapCut application and then i'm going to create new project and you can choose a photo or a video you want to apply eye contact correction feature to and i'm going to choose photo and video for the video, I'm going to choose this one and then I'm going to add a um, picture as well. But wait, let me choose the, the um, picture. I'm going to select, wait, for example, um, this one, okay? And, I'm, and then I'm going to add them to my project. Okay, and to make the process faster, let me cut the video okay all right and i'm going to apply eye contact correction feature to the photo and the video okay basically guys we can use the eye contact correction feature to make our eyes look like um, we're looking directly into the camera and as you can see that this woman is not looking at the camera and i'm going to make this a woman um, look like she's looking at the camera okay we can click on the video and then we can scroll all the way to the right until we find the eye contact feature and then you can click on this toggle button to activate the eye contact feature okay and as you can see guys that the feature has been applied to the video and you can see the difference right wait i'm going to show you the before and after this is after i apply the eye contact feature and this is before i apply it okay and then i'm going to apply eye contact feature to this photo as well wait i'm going to zoom in okay click on the eye contact and i'm going to click on this toggle button all right and this is the result okay that's so different right okay basically you can apply it to photo or video it's up to you and um, we can use it for free okay as you can see it's free so you don't need to subscribe to CapCut to use this feature okay guys and that's all the way to use eye contact correction feature on CapCut mobile I hope this tutorial will be useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you found this tutorial useful, don't forget to like, comment, share, and also subscribe to this channel. Bye!